My, like, health is, like, an aspect of it. For Daisy Kent, becoming the new Bachelorette just wasn't part of her journey. The runner-up from Joey Grazia Day's season of The Bachelor reveals why she turned down the opportunity to hand out the roses during an April 4th episode of the Nick Vile Files podcast. My, like, health is, like, an aspect of it. I knew as the lead, like, it's very, like, it's a lot on you. Like, not only emotionally, but also physically, too. It and sure is, yeah. Like, there were a lot of, I mean, you know, because you were the lead, but you're, like, up super late. Like, you're always... It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, like, it's nonstop. And I talked to a lot of, like, past leads when it was, like, in talks with me. And I just knew, like, from, like, the health point, it would be a lot. The 25-year-old has been open in the past about her diagnoses with Meniere's disease, which can cause hearing loss and Lyme disease, as well as her journey to getting a cochlear implant. And just because she won't be the next bachelorette doesn't mean she's not still open to finding love. Like, it's not that I'm not ready to date. It's that I wasn't ready for that specific thing. Right. And I think, like, coming off the show and doing the show, I didn't realize, like, how much of kind of a big thing it is, if that makes sense. I think right now, like, I just want to live and, like, be happy. And I'm always going to jump at, like, opportunities. But I think just this specific opportunity wasn't right for me right now. Meanwhile, the new Bachelorette, Jen Tran, made history as the franchise's first Asian-American lead on the series. The physician assistant student who also appeared on Joey Grazia Day's season of The Bachelor before being sent home in week seven will now have another chance at finding her perfect match as the star of The Bachelorette season 21. And during the finale, host Jesse Palmer went on to ask Jen about her history making moment becoming the first Asian American Bachelorette. By the way, you're also the first Asian American Bachelorette <laughs> in franchise history. How does that feel? Um, that is an absolute insane thing to come out of your mouth. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's honestly incredible, and I feel so, so grateful and so honored to be the first Asian bachelorette in this franchise. Um, growing up, I've always wanted to see Asian representation on TV, you know, and I feel like it was really, it was really sparse. Any time Asians were in the media, it was to fill a supporting character role, to fulfill some sort of stereotype. And I always felt boxed in by that because I was like, I don't see myself on screen. I don't see myself as a main character. And now to be here today, sitting in this position, being like, I am going to lead my own love story. I am going to be the main character of my story. Like, I just can't help but think of how many people I'm inspiring and how many lives I'm changing.